The first thing you're going to do before typing any text is setting up your styles by making use of the heading 1 to heading 3 you see here at the top of the screen. It's necessary to make use of the styles because the automatically generated table of contents will make use of the styles to fill itself. We're going to use heading 1 for the chapter titles, heading 2 for the paragraph titles and heading 3 for the subparagraphs. First, let's set up heading 1. Click with your right mouse button on heading 1 or on a Mac with Ctrl and click and choose Modify. You will then see a screen like this. And now you can choose a font. The size of the font. If you want it bold or in italics. And a color. And here you find some options for alignment. Click on OK and you have set up heading 1. Now you will do the same thing to Heading 2 and Heading 3. Choose Modify, choose a font. I'll make it a little smaller than the first one and the color. And confirm with OK. And now the third one, the Heading 3 for the subparagraphs. Right click, modify, choose the font, the size and a color. And of course, if you like the default font, just let it on the default font. Confirm with OK and now you've set up the heading styles for use with the chapter titles, the paragraphs and the subparagraphs. So how do you apply them? First you type a title for your chapter. You select it and you click on Heading 1. You will immediately see that the style you chose for Heading 1 will be applied to the chapter title. It's possible that you immediately see a number appearing in front of your chapter title. That's because the multi-level list is activated and it automatically numbers the chapter titles. You can find it over here. If you don't want to make use of a chapter number, simply select None and the chapter number will disappear. For the paragraph, select the paragraph title and choose Heading 2. And for the subparagraph, select the subparagraph title and select Heading 3. And these are the basics for setting up your styles. <laughs>